What if I told you the Milwaukee Bucks could win the 2017 NBA championship? Okay, what is going on, guys? It's RTG here, and you guys are having an awesome day. If you're new, please consider subscribing. It helps out a lot. Also, hit that like button, and let's get right into this video. After Giannis Antetokounmpo just won most improved player and actually played a really well-fought series that went to six game with the 3 Z Toronto Raptors, leading his team in all five major statistical categories, we now look forward to next year and what Giannis can really bring to the table. And here's what I think he can bring to the table, and here's what I know he will do it. And... Bucks fans out there, I know you're there. I know you're praying for it too. I'm thinking around 27 points, and I know that's a very big number. But I think he can do it if he really works on his three-pointer. It's been said. I've heard it. He just it needs to get into his mind. You know, I need to work on my three-pointer. That's what he needs to be saying to himself this summer or in training camp as it approaches. Also, Jabari Parker needs to come back somewhere around December or January so that he can get a little bit of time to get some games in. And if Jabari Parker can stay healthy and Chris Middleton can stay healthy, I think the Bucks have a pretty good lineup. All right, think about it. Jabari Parker comes back, theoretically, okay? Brogdon at the point, who can make plays, and we saw that throughout the playoffs. Chris Middleton, who can shoot the ball really well. Of course, you have Ante DeCumpo at the small forward. Jabari Parker, if he comes back and is effective as he was in the first half of the season last year. And I would put Thon Maker at center. I would develop the young guys. And what I like about the Bucks is they have some depth. They got, well, you know, Monroe coming off the bench would be an awesome center off the bench, too. But what I also like about the Bucks is they are unlike the Timberwolves. And, I mean, like, yeah, they're unlike the Timberwolves, of course, but here's why. They have both been in rebuilding processes and trying to build around the two young guys. Andrew Wiggins, Carly Downs, and Jabari Parker and Giannis Antetokounmpo. But what the Bucks did not do is rush this process. The Timberwolves, which trade away Zach Levine, a young piece that could build with Carly Towns and Andrew Wiggins for a slightly older Jimmy Butler. They are rushing the rebuilding process, and this is exactly what the Bucks are not doing. And that's why they are way, they are way smarter. And I don't know about the 2018 championship. And that's why I'm making this video, because I do think they could win it. And they have a chance. Of course they do. Of course the words are heavy favors. And this has a better chance than you think of happening, or like... It's never going to happen, you know. But really, if everybody comes back, everybody's healthy, it's a very big possibility. And listen to me now. If this Giannis Antetokounmpo grows and he keeps growing like he is, this guy could be 7 feet. No, he is 7 feet now, but he could be 7 too. And he could be a guy who has the quarter vision of Russell Westbrook, man. Like, this guy, think about it. Like, like you guys are thinking of him now. He's a beast. He's a He's a beast, you know? Think of him in a couple of years. Trust me, this guy could be the greatest player of the game. I know. Greatest guy to ever play the game. That's insane, RTG. You know, like, you're getting ahead of yourself. I'm not. You look at this guy. This guy grows a little bit more inches. Puts in a couple more pounds. Puts in the work at his three-point game. And is just as solid a defender as he's been. He's going to be something special, and he's going to be something to watch. And I know people have been saying this, but trust me, these two together, if Jabari can just stay healthy and Brogdon can be what he is and Maker can be what they say he's going to be, and he's not 28 years old, this team is going to be a scary team, and I'm going to tell you that much. And they could be scary this year, and that's what I'm trying to tell you guys. They could win this year. If they pull off some sort of upset and the Cavs' chemistry isn't working or Isaiah Thomas' is hip and everything, and the Warriors lose somebody to injury or the Warriors are just not playing well or something, some sort of intangible, trust me, 
These guys have a way better chance and will be a top three seed in the East. I can guarantee you that much. And trust me, Giannis Antetokounmpo this year will be a top three candidate for MVP. I'm going to lay that one out there. All right, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you guys tomorrow. And hit that like button if you enjoyed. Also, subscribe if you're new. All right, see you.